Hi guys, I am Bronte, this is Evan. We are with Rided Roots Farm and today we have something kind of cool for you guys. We're doing a comparison of two different milk machines. We've yeah. got a surge milk machine that is over 50 years old. It's a very simple, basic machine. And then we also have the Molasti bucket milker that is not old at all. It's, <laughs> it's brand, brand new. new. We just put it together like two days ago. So this is a brand new machine. Modern in every sense of the imagination. Yeah, so we are going, we have both of these in our possession right now, and we wanted to do a comparison for you guys. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more farm content. We are a small regenerative farm in Southern Missouri, and we post videos every single week. So we're gonna get into it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is putting these two machines together, ease of use. This one is the surge milker, and this is the complete system. Everything you see here, this is your vacuum pump, and these are all your hoses. There's actually two, this is a vacuum hose, so that goes with that. And on these, just so you guys are aware, these are your teacups. This machine does allow you to have four of these. I just usually only use one or two. I keep two on, one stopped, and go around all four quarters with one. Sometimes I use two at a time. It's just easier that way because there's two hoses per, and they're all, it, it's just a lot to manage and everything. So it's easier just to do it with one or two. One hose is obviously the vacuum, and one hose is for the milk that delivers the milk to the bucket. With this one, whenever you're hooking it up to the cow, and you'll see in some of our video when I do this, because this lid has a new seal on the inside, it's not yet formed to this bucket. You do have to kind of, you have to keep your thumb in here, this one plug, and you have to press down until it starts to pulsate. Once it starts to pulsate, you can let up. It's got its suction. Now I can release and attach quickly so that I don't lose that suction. That's a little bit more of a hassle. I think that it will improve once that seal fits to this bucket. It's gonna have a seal a lot quicker so you don't have to put that weight down. But I have found myself, while it, at least while it has that new seal, I found myself in this position quite a bit trying to get it to gain suction and stuff. So this system, that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy to attached to the cow, it's easy to set up, but it is more work to get it all put together and, and, and ready to melt as compared to the Molasti machine. So this machine, this is the whole system right here. And it's on nice wheels, it dollies around, um, has its claw with the four, four of them right here, you know? Um, and the way the suction works is when you flip this upside down, there's a little knob here that you have to pull to start the suction but these fold over and pinch off so that the suction can begin. And then you just kind of hold them here and you start to attach them one at a time. And that works super well. It's so easy to use and so fast. All in all, neither systems are difficult to use. They're both very, very simple and very, very easy to attach to the cow and start your milk. Eating. All right, so let's talk about time now. How, yes. the, how long each system takes to milk. Okay, so this system takes a little bit longer. This took from the time I turned the vacuum pump on until the time I have all four quarters milked is about nine minutes, eight to nine minutes. With this Molasti machine, once I turn that sucker on, once I turn the vacuum pump on, it's three minutes, that's it to milk all four quarters, full gallon of milk, everything done. It's super fast, super efficient. This one is the winner of the fastest milking. This one definitely is. It does a much faster job. Which both are not a lot of time. Both no. are super fast. Compared to hand milking, like that's what we're comparing these, both of these, you know. Uh, maybe you're in a position right now where you're hand milking um, and you wanna switch to using a milk machine. You're considering that. Or maybe you're getting ready to buy your cow and you're like, man, how am I gonna have one or two hours a day to hand milk a cow? Should I get a milk machine? Either of these options are gonna work great for you, especially as compared to, to hand milk. All right, so now we're gonna talk about another important part, which is cleanup. How hard is it 
to clean up each of these machines because you're gonna be doing it every single time you use it. So for the surge milker, it does take a little bit more to break it down and clean it every day. You have to take the lid off, take the pulsator off, detach the hoses and clean the bucket. And you bring this whole system, minus the vacuum pump, you bring it all inside and it sits in your sink. It's just a lot to have inside. Cleaning it is fairly easy. Um, the only thing that you have to make sure to not get water in a certain, in the air yeah, the hose, hoses. in the vacuum hose. So you have to be mindful when you're cleaning it. Um, as long as you clean it right away, it's not, it's not a lot. Not like you're really, I'm really just soaking it in hot water, rinsing it. Sometimes I'll use a vinegar mixture. Well, really every time I use a, a vinegar and water mixture and like spray the inside of the tub down and rinse it out again. And then you want to, you want to make sure that it is hung out to dry. Like, so we have a big drying rack right by our kitchen sink. Unfortunately, we don't have a sink in the milking parlor that if you do have a sink and hot water, this would be a lot easier. So easier. Yeah, if you do have a, a sink with hot water in your barn or wherever you're milking, that would make things a, way easier, but we do not. So we bring it all the way inside and it is kind of a pain washing all of this. Well, having to break everything down because this, all this has to be broken down and put back together every single day. Yeah. So it's a lot. With the Melasti machine, all of this stays in the barn and we already have the hose out here for spraying out any litter that occurs during the, the milking process. So I fill up a sterile bucket with water. I put about five gallons in there, which is the capacity. This is a six gallon bucket on here. So I put between five and six gallons of water in that sterile bucket. And then all you do with this, after you're done milking, you've transferred your milk from the milk bucket to an external container. It's empty. Now you have your sterile water bucket and you just turn it on and put this in there and let that water suck up and through and rinse it out. I do that twice every single morning. Once a week, I'll add a little bit of bleach or a little bit of vinegar to the water mix to kind of disinfect and clean the system out. And then once a month, we'll take pipe cleaners. We have hose cleaners, just like a brush on a stick basically, that we'll go through and we'll actually run that through the hoses to just give it an extra cleaning. And those came with the machine. Yeah, we don't have all them of that out came. Here, but the, the machine came with these special brushes for the machine. Yeah, and they work very well. We used it on this one, actually. We used it to yeah. clean out these hoses at one, um, point. at one point just this week. So for us, this machine works a lot better as far as cleanup cleaning. goes because we don't Specifically have- Specifically for you because I'm not bringing stuff into your kitchen yeah, it, and filling up your sink every morning with dirty stuff. Yeah, yeah that was a lot. Like the only we, thing that I bring back inside is the milk. The milk, That's and it. that is nice. That's nice. If we had an outdoor sink with hot water, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal with this, but, and it wasn't truly a huge deal, but this one is nicer for us in it's our situation. More so another thing to consider is with these two machines and cleanup and maintenance and all of that and like everyday workload is you will be carrying this bucket. Minus the vacuum pump. Minus vacuum the pump vacuum pump will stay pump. wherever you're milking. Yeah, you will be carrying the milk bucket to wherever. And the hoses, yeah. And the hoses to wherever you're gonna, you know, disperse your milk and clean your machine. And this is not light. It's not incredibly heavy, but it's, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. Whereas this, like we said, you just keep it outside or not outside, but you keep it in your milk parlor because you're, you're able to wash and you can roll it around, which Evan loves the rolling. I like feature. it. It's on a dolly. It's so yeah. easy to move around. And this one was, this one was advertised as a belly one, correct or no? So the original design for this is that it hangs, you, you use a belt and we actually have one we could grab. Um, and show you, but it, it has a belt and a suspension piece of metal, basically, is what it is. And you would hang the bucket here underneath the belly of your cow, but that's like one extra step, two extra steps, that's just kind of a pain. I just keep this on the ground, just like it's sitting right now, but on the side of the, st the stanchion and the cow. Okay, so last but not least, this is a very important factor, is price, how much price. these two cost. Yes. So we'll start off with the surge milker, which like mm -hmm. Evan said before, we got it on 
eBay, tell them how much this one costs. Like we said, this is a 50 year old, somewhere in there, 50 plus year old Surge Melker. Made in America, really awesome thing. It, it came with four of these teacups and extra hose. It also came with a brand new in the box vacuum pump, which is that, and all the hoses. So that whole system was $925 ship. This system right here, everything we need in the box, it came on a semi-truck, like a full-size semi-truck. This was $1,450, so $1,450. A little bit higher priced, you know, over $500 more. And we do see that, like you do feel the price difference in the use of the machine. Like mm -hmm. we said, this machine is easier to use but if you are trying to save money or if you don't want to spend that much, the Surge Milker is a perfectly fine machine. And if you like nostalgia. Yeah, and it is that's really cool. cool that it's, it looks pretty sitting on the yeah, top of the fridge. It doesn't look hideous no. because it's like an old, some people keep these old milk jugs minus the <laughs> lid, minus the pulsator, just the lid on it, and they use it as decoration in their home. Because yeah, they are just cool. the milk jug is, yeah. is pretty without, without the hoses the hose and everything. At the end of the day, we decided to, to keep the Molasti and go with that. Yeah. We're trading this machine for a bread heifer. <laughs> I think that that's all that, like those are all the main points of comparison between the two machines. You can comment below if you have any questions for me or for my wife about either of these systems, maybe something I missed or you see something on one and you have a question about what is that, where to buy them, we can help you with that. We're not endorsed for any of this. We're just doing this to help you guys out and we're not getting paid to say, hey, we're sticking with Melasti over the surge. We just wanna show you guys just complete transparency. We hope that this was helpful. We know that it can be so overwhelming trying to yeah. pick a milk machine, especially Definitely. for the first time. Like we said, we're going with this one, but either one is a good option. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, please comment, share it with your friends and family and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching. We will catch you on the next one.